welcome back to your messages. Well, let's see what Spirit has for you. We're just going to be doing a general reading, taking a look at what's going on in your life. We have the sun on the split, card of Leo. Your energy is showing up very clearly here. Along with the Empress on the bottom of the deck, you could be really just chasing your bliss, your happiness, enjoying the moment, um, focusing on being in the moment. Your manifestations are being brought into fruition, I want to say. And that will be for some as it is on the split. Take what resonates, leave the rest, Leo. Let's see what Spirit has for you. Happy and successful. Okay. Spirit, what can you show me about Leo's energy at this time? What's going on in Leo's life? Oh, Leo. First card we have out is the Hermit Leo. So this is a card about introspection, right? Going within, kind of doing a lot of healing, but really deep healing, right? It's not just like rubbing, putting a Band-Aid over a wound. It's more so like your soul type of healing, you know? You could be really focused on... healing from connections or relationships, situations that did not work out, right? There's something here that's disappointing that you're reflecting on. Something did not go as maybe you hoped it would with a certain energy, yeah. Bottom of the deck, five of cups. You're healing, Leo. You're healing something, you're healing from something. <clears throat> and you're protecting yourself from energies that are not aligning with you at this time, I want to say. The Five of Cups and the High Priestess. It's almost like you expected something to play out a certain way, whatever this disappointment is or this... Um, yeah, whatever you're healing from, it's almost like you expected it or expected things to go a specific way. And your intuition was kind of proven, you know, you proved yourself right, I want to say. But on the, on the bright side, that cycle has been completed. You're moving on, looking forward, and um, really just setting your boundaries with those energies, creating distance, really just... Um, you know, you're not letting those energies disappoint you anymore because you're stepping into your power. Your intuition is very strong. But with the hermit here, I'm seeing, Leo, there's there's answers you're looking for. There's a lot of healing taking place. With the three of cups in reverse, there's disappointment here. And it could be tied up to external energies that you were once close to. Not sure. Um, with the star in reverse, this is like... A loss of hope, maybe you giving up on a certain energy in your life um, due to whatever disappointment you're dealing with or whatever you're grieving and releasing. Uh, with the Two of Swords, you might be at a crossroads in regards to some decision that you're trying to make in your life. I'm not sure which way to go. In the Ace of Wands reverse, there's like this you trying to get something off the ground or you trying to move in a certain direction and then. Um, maybe lacking the correct drive to get it done or this is just like things not working out how you plan them to go we are going to clarify so i can see more about this but something didn't work out here leo and you're just taking a step back looking within trying to heal from whatever it is um could have been somebody the king of wands reverse Somebody very selfish, I want to say. Very full of themselves. Very in their ego. Um, show me the hermit. What was this hermit about for Leo? <clears throat> the Page of Swords. You could be actually curious, the Ace of Wands reverse. You could be trying to figure out how to get something, trying to figure something out, trying to learn more about a situation. 
But with the Ace of Wands reverse and the Devil, Leo, somebody got you all the way messed up. <laughs> and I feel like this is disappointing for you or to you to some degree, but I don't know. It's like you're... You're seeking to know yourself on a deeper level. You're, see you're seeking to understand this pain on a deeper level, whatever this disappointment is from. There's something that you're very connected to or were connected to, right? Very attached to. But I don't feel like it's here anymore, you know? I think you're, see you're going within to figure out why the attachment still exists or why the disappointment is still present. I feel like intuitively you understand, but... And it could be as simple as like, you know, you just had a lot of love for it, but it's like you're trying to understand this more, this dynamic, this change that's taking place. Some of you could be dealing with a Virgo, have it in your chart, Aquarius, Libra, Aries, Leo, Sag, um, Scorpio. I think I said that. Show me this three of cups reverse. What's this about for Leo? The two of swords reverse. Yeah, you made up your mind about a certain energy or certain connection that just does not feel good to you anymore, you know? You might have felt like these were really inauthentic people. Um, yeah, Five of Cups right here. Five of Cups, Ace of Swords. It's like you've seen the truth, Leo, about a certain somebody or a certain group of people, and you just saw it for what it is, you know? Maybe in the past it had you, like, feeling stuck to some degree, but it's like once you saw this truth... Uh, the inauthenticity that this energy was moving with in your life, it just became, it became clear to you why you're separating and kind of uh, withdrawing from those energies or that energy. Show me the star in reverse. And the queen of wands in reverse. This situation, Leo, could have really made you, it could have impacted your self-perception to some degree in some way, shape, or form. Um, the way that you see yourself, the belief that, I don't know, it's like the opinions or the way the situation played out, it kind of it disappointed you in a way that was maybe unexpected. And that's why you're seeking to understand why it hurt so much or why it, like, was I don't want to say hurt so much why it brought so much discomfort or I don't know it's like you're trying to figure out why what about this energy or their these fake friends this fake person like what about it is having you affected right because you have a lot of self-love but it's like something about this confidence here about how the situation played out has affected you in some way shape or form with the two of swords, we have the five of wands and the eight of pentacles. See, this could be energies trying to, this could be, I'll say it two ways. This could be you having difficulties in regards to how to move forward with something you're working on or something you're building, crafting, mastering, having a bit of inner conflict about like which direction to go creatively or um, like in the work environment. But it also could be energy trying, this disappointing energy trying to rebuild things with you and it's creating a lot of internal confusion or conflict because it's like you don't know how to respond or react to this disappointing energy trying to come back and fix things when they really did a number on your, like how you feel about yourself or how you see things, how you see the world, I guess. The disappointment was not something that was just like light, lightly taken, I want to say. And so them trying to come back and fix it might be like, what? <laughs> you might just be confused. Show me the Ace of Wands reverse. Six of Swords reverse. I feel like you're rejecting, this. if this is another energy trying to come back that you're healing from or you know stepping away from i feel like you're just straight up rejecting it like this is an energy that could be stuck on you right they could even be watching you spying on you you're showing up as the hermit here a lot 
could be done with the Burgo. Show me one more with that Six of Swords reverse. And judgment reverse. Yeah, you're 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 not opening up doors to the past. You're embracing change. I feel like whatever transpired transpired here. It wasn't pretty because you had a lot of love or just you had a connection with this. It's like you didn't expect it to play out how it did. You didn't expect this disappointment. So I see you in this process of healing and then having to deal with the back and forth of like your own inner conflicts in regards to them showing back up or trying to fix things or which way you're going to move forward through these changes. But I do see things picking up for you or life becoming a lot more exciting or just like more busy, I guess. Through separation from whatever energy is stuck on you. Um, yeah. Do you have any advice for Leo spirit? The Ten of Swords. Yep. <laughs> Put a nail in that coffin. This King of Wands reverse. Hey. The Magician. Use this ending to fuel your manifestations, to fuel your confidence, right? To fuel your belief in self. Do not let this ending become something that um, knocks your confidence or makes you lack any type of belief in yourself. Understand, Leo, that you are the prize here. You are very powerful. Five of Swords reverse. Yeah, don't let this ending become something that creates false deception, false self perception, right? Deception being your false self view. Like, if you, if this ending of whatever situation this is made you feel some type of way about yourself, don't, uh, I guess, use those emotions to. Transmute it into something more positive. Like, understand, Leo, you are the absolute, you are the magician, you are the creator, the manifester, right? Your advice is to believe in that ability to transmute this pain into something that is, um, that will build you up, right? And empower you. Don't let it be something that knocks you down or makes you have this false self perception and getting in your head and stuff. Trust me, they lost you, Leo. You did not lose them. King of Pentacles, yeah. They lost you. Three of Pentacles reverse, Page of Swords reverse. If there is any petty energies that are trying to like rebuild and you're not interested, just shut it down for what it is, right? Move towards the direction of your passions. This is your advice. Move in a direction that is inspiring and not like tiring. <laughs> you know, move move in the direction that's gonna fuel you to create absolute abundance and stability in your life. And uh, don't settle for anything less than you know you're worthy of or deserving of right especially if these if these energies that are ending in your life if they're energies that made you feel bad about yourself those are not your people leo that was not your person no <laughs> if anyone made you feel like you were the problem um and you're over here trying to heal and self-reflect and figure out where it all went wrong it's like no understand leo you are the absolute prize new beginnings are heading towards you these manifestations are fueled by the way that you choose to transmute this energy. Don't let it be de you deceiving yourself. That's what they want. Move towards whatever lights your soul up, I want to say. I'll get you some closing messages. Leo, I am limitless. Yeah, the possibilities are endless. You're free now. <laughs> From what I'm seeing, there is a new... There's something... There's like a... I'm imaginative. There's a new space open in your life for you to head in a direction that inspires you. I'm inspiring and I'm in the flow. Let me get two more. 17, I'm independent. Yeah, it's all about you now. And 12, 12, I'm focused. So, let's see it, I'm awakening. You woke up to someone's BS or their fake friendship or their fake love or their inauthentic whatever and you quit putting up with it your advice is to like end things that are not serving you right especially if they're making you feel bad or making you overthink and get in your head take your power back because you're worth far more than to be treated however this energy was treating you and um 
yeah, manifest into, don't settle for less, I want to say, but with I'm imaginative, you are an original, innovative thinker and excellent communicator, and you have great talent for using creativity to convey your ideas and your optimistic attitude has an uplifting effect on others. Don't let the negativity rub off on you, right? Stay positive, stay blessed. Uh, with I'm independent, the quality of work you can produce when you're going at it alone is almost unbelievable. You are as independent as you are ambitious, capable of performing every step of the way with efficiency, focus, and skill. When I say you the magician, Leo, I'm not kidding. You have every single thing that you need in order to be successful and manifest these dreams into whatever you want them to be, right? You don't got to settle. And with I am focused, stay focused on your best possible future and remain optimistic throughout the entire journey. Your angels are right behind you as you turn your dreams into reality. And I ain't even going to speak on that because that's just repeating everything I said, right? <laughs> Leo, this was your reading. If you enjoyed it, uh, want to follow me on social media, donate to the channel. Links will be in the description box below my about tab. And I'll see you soon. Bye.